Welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we're going to take the Laplace transform of y double prime plus y equals cosine omega t. All right, let's apply the Laplace transform to every piece. Laplace, remember it's a it's a linear operator, so when we apply, I'll, I'll write it out so we can see. And remember, Laplace transform of cosine omega t and the Laplace transform it just it you could think of it as it distributes so it's really the Laplace of y double prime plus the Laplace transform of y equals the Laplace transform of cosine omega t now let's recall and it might have been a bit but I'll, I'll remind us the Laplace transform of y double prime is s squared y of s minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And the Laplace transform of y, well, that is just going to be capital Y of s. That's the very definition. Equals, and then the cosine, that is s over s squared plus omega squared. Okay, but to finish this, when we want to find the transform of that, what we need to do is y of s, this is the transform. So we need to solve this for y of s. Um, I'm going to do two things. No, let's just do one. s squared, I'm going to move my initial conditions to the right-hand side. So s squared, s squared, y of s plus y of s s equals, I'm going to have an s, y of 0 plus y prime of 0 plus an s over s squared plus omega squared. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to factor the y of s. When I factor y of s, that leaves me an s squared plus 1. And that equals that is going to equal um, s, sorry, s y of 0 plus y prime of 0 plus s over s squared plus omega squared. And now we divide it through, so the, the Laplace transform of the differential equation is equal to s y of 0 over s squared plus 1 plus y prime of 0 over s squared plus 1 plus, hang on, I just had to think about that for a second, yeah, plus, then we're going to pick up a s, this is going to be a big one, an s, whoops, an s over an s squared plus 1 times an s squared plus omega squared. That's the Laplace transform of that differential equation. Now, uh, I think we'll stop there. And in the next video, we'll find the inverse Laplace transform of this equation. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.